Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today's November 13th, and right now we're looking at the infrared satellite image. You can see Washington, state of California is here, Hawaii Beach to the bottom left, and look at our storm developing off the coastline as we speak. You can see the cold air dropping down across the west coast of North America here, and look at all these lightning strikes associated with this cold air aloft moving down over the ocean here. So we're going to be dealing with this upper level low for several days, probably on in through the weekend before it pivots across the state of California. So we're going to dive into those details here as we go on through the video and we'll take a look at the extreme extended forecast at the very end of the video. So stick around for that as well. And this is the visible satellite imagery. You can see the sun rising across Pacific Ocean here. Look at all these lightning strikes out over the water here. And there is a potential for some thunderstorms here as we go through the week. And I'll show you that here in a bit. You can see there is some marine layer, some signs of life there with it across some of the Bay Area and down towards Southern California. You can see some fog into the valleys as well as we got the high level clouds streaming across the area from the approach of the storm now this channel's doing quite well you guys we passed 10,000 last night let's keep it going thanks to everybody who's joined and watches every day you guys make this channel possible now taking a look at sacramento national weather service we've been watching this for the last few days of course we've got kind of a somewhat of a cutoff low setting up shop here off the coast so we're going to be dealing with precipitation chances off and on all the way through the weekend coming up and this is going to be very variable to who gets what some hit and miss areas some places are going to see more rainfall than others in between some of these bands of precipitation it's going to feel quite warm. You know, you're getting the southwest flow here, some of that subtropical moisture making its way back up over the area. Might feel humid at uh, times as well. Now, looking at rain accumulation. So, for example, if you take Oakland here, you can kind of see the off and on nature of this precipitation as we go all the way on in towards Saturday here. So, this will be starting up mainly tonight on into tomorrow for some areas. You see San Francisco, the quarter of an inch there on Tuesday, another shot of rainfall on Wednesday, another shot on Thursday, and another shot on Friday here. So so you can kind of see the hit and miss nature of this system as it spins these bands of precipitation into the area. Now, looking at uh, winter storm impacts here, uh, this is something that's been kind of downtrending <clears throat> as the storm has been hanging off the coastline a bit. You can imagine why the best the dynamics stay off to the west here, but you could get some snowfall above 7,000 feet up to six inches here, mainly Wednesday night through Thursday. So prepare for some uh, difficult travel across some of the higher passes. We'll continue to watch this as we go through the next couple of days as well. More on that as we go through the video also. And look at Los Angeles. You can see by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, precipitation chances. And towards the end of the run, actually, it looks like Los Angeles and some of Southern California has been uptrending a little bit here over the last day. We'll take a look at that as well. And you can kind of see the forecast confidence here for one to three inches, one inch or less, or three to six inches plus. And snow levels generally 8,000 plus feet across much of Southern California. And as the system pivots across the area, there is a chance for precipitation across some Las Vegas, even some of the desert areas as well. And some of Arizona is going to pick up some precip with this most likely as well. Now, taking a look at this day in SoCal weather history, 1961, uh, strong winds. Check out this uh, sand and dust storm across some of the deserts. California actually did some damage west of the mountains too. And 68, look at this multiple water spout and funnel cloud activity off the coast of San Diego. And 1988, first major storm of the year came through on November 13th. So interesting stuff there as always from the National Weather Service San Diego and if you want a nice affordable home weather station click on that link down below it's always more fun to watch these systems roll in when you've got a weather station at your home great smartphone app with that as well even give you notifications when it starts raining at your house for example now taking a look at the European so this is the last night's run here the most recent European and you can clearly see what we saw in the infrared satellite imagery with this storm dropping down and by the time we go into Tuesday morning you can see that initial band hitting the Bay Area there and kind of clipping the coastal regions there as well and again some places could be getting some heavy precipitation then you can see it cuts off and then the next band starts to come through as we go through Wednesday starting to impact Southern California and then that swings through and you can kind of see we're going to be doing this off and on as we go all the way through the weekend and this has been kind of uptrending here across Southern California for some heavier precipitation amounts possible we'll look at the ensembles on that in a moment as well for that system finally kicks out as we start on into Sunday there you can see still see Saturday night precipitation across a lot of Arizona there 
Now, what's going on in the upper levels of the atmosphere? So this is looking at about 18,000 feet or 500 millibars, and you can clearly see this batch of cold air moving down the coastline there. And what you notice here is it kind of just stops with its easterly progression. That's what we've been dealing with the last few days in this very tricky forecast as this cutoff load just kind of hangs out off the coastline. It kind of starts getting shredded towards the end of the run, and then it pivots across the area here. And so we have to watch that for some heavy precipitation amounts of that also. And again, there is a thunderstorm potential with some of this activity here and then you can kind of see that pivot finally through the area as we go on in towards next week. Here we're looking at the European. This is last night's run on the left versus yesterday afternoons on the right. If we put this into motion, you can see we do have a little bit of agreement starting to emerge here and some of the timings of these bands moving across the area. But as you can see, it's kind of a hit and miss nature here as we continue to spin precipitation into the state. And as we go towards the end of the run here, you can see some of this showing up pretty heavy for Southern California. I'd like to see a little bit more model agreement before we get too worked up about that. You can see it did show up a bit yesterday afternoon as well, but there is some thunderstorm potential with some of this precipitation as it moves across the area but you could see that cutoff low and the very dynamic precipitation very close to the coastline here but some of this is going to be making its way inland and definitely going to be hitting more areas uh, versus others you know, kind of that hit and miss nature of this precipitation spreading into the region this is looking at the european lightning flash density potential so as we go through the morning today you can see some of that lightning activity off the coastline there staying offshore but watch what happens as we start to go on in through the week here. Here we go into Tuesday afternoon, still not much showing up, but by the time we get to Tuesday night, you can see some of that thunderstorm activity off to the south and west of the state of California and south of Southern California here. And you can see some of that trying to move up across Southern California as we go through the daytime Wednesday. So we do have thunderstorm potential all the way up towards the Bay Area here as we go through the day Wednesday into Wednesday afternoon and evening as you can see right off the coastline there and now we're going into wednesday night thursday morning and maybe a couple more flashes of lightning here as we go through thursday afternoon but we'll, we'll visit this again tomorrow and try to get a little bit more agreement here on that and kind of just see where these thunderstorms are setting up because you can see that was a pretty good signal if we go backwards in time here a bit and you can kind of see that activity across some of southern california this would be a late wednesday morning into a wednesday afternoon shown there now this is looking at los angeles check this nightmare of a forecast out you can see the big variation in some of these runs and look at what the control run here shows for this weekend big precipitation totals possible for some of southern california and it does have in some ensemble agreement but as you can see some of these ensembles have much less very much showing the hit and miss nature of this precipitation moving into the state of california san francisco kind of a good agreement here actually showing a one two three punch here but nothing too exceptionally heavy but these could equal some pretty rainy periods for some of the Bay Area as well, then a bit of a break and then maybe the return of some precipitation towards the end of November. We'll worry about that later. This is the European San Francisco. You're looking at run-to-run -run continuity here and you can kind of see one, two, three areas of precipitation here. The first round with 42 hundredths of an inch, then the second round as we go through Wednesday afternoon to Thursday morning, maybe another third, and then a bit of light precipitation here as we go towards Friday into very early Saturday morning. Now taking a look at Mammoth, you can kind of see what what we're dealing with here. Some of the ensembles don't show much snow at all, but some of them do show some heavier amounts. And the mean is right there about three to four inches. This is Lake Tahoe. This has been downtrending here over the last few days as we've been having this storm in the models kicking off to the west and holding a lot of this precipitation off the coastline versus marching it inland a bit more. But of course, we'll watch this day by day. We still have some time to figure this out. As you can see, the control and the mean generally under two inches, but there is still a few of these members with a little bit higher amounts. Now, this is the GFS hot off the presses this morning. In fact, let's update that so we have all the data here and put this into motion and you can see the snow starts flying here as we go through the day tuesday for some of the higher elevations of northern california i think i-5 is going to be just fine as far as snow on the roadway out there and then you can kind of see as we go through later portions of this week we start to build up some of that snow across the sierra nevada uh, the max just showing between you know three to six inches something like that for some of the higher elevations of the sierra nevada nothing too crazy here but some of the higher passes could be impacted so heads up for that this is looking at day one through three overall winter storm impacts and this probably nails the impacts here pretty well you can see limited and some minor yellow dots in here as well so heads up for that now looking at two meter temperature in the nam3 cam this is a high resolution model and you can see as we go through the day today you can see things warm up across the valley areas the desert southern california and then of course if we go into the overnight hours things cool back down 
And then we warm back up tomorrow, cool back down as we go on into a Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, warm back up as we go through Wednesday afternoon. And of course, uh, your temperatures and some of your daily highs are going to depend on just what kind of shower activity is moving over that certain area at, a, at any given time here. But kind of a nice look here as I just scroll through of the nocturnal and the diurnal cycle of the temperatures here across California, Nevada, and Arizona. Now, taking a look at this precipitable water, Hawaiian Islands to the bottom left, there's California here, and you can see our system dropping down, spinning some of this moisture back up over the region, so it may feel humid at times, and as you can see, it's going to be spinning out here for a few days, multiple rounds of precipitation possible, and again, some areas are going to get more than others in this hit and miss nature of this cutoff low before it finally kicks through as we go towards the early portion of next week. Now looking at 100 meter wind speeds, nothing too crazy showing up here, but you can see a pretty dynamic system right off the coastline here, man. This thing is just missing us, but it does show some gustier winds trying to impact some of the coastal areas, maybe the higher terrain across, uh, you know, some of the central portions of California, maybe the Bay Area, some of the higher hills getting some gusty winds up towards Northwest California, maybe a little bit gusty at times across some of the Sierra Nevada, but nothing too crazy. And then you can see some of these winds as the low tries to get a bit closer to some of the coastal areas here as we go through the day Wednesday. So some gusty winds, but no major windstorm coming in here, as you can see on the European. And that was as of last night that was showing you 100 meter wind speeds there. This is looking at seven day precipitation. So here we go, San Francisco. It looks like maybe 1.3 inches, Fort Bragg 1.4, Redding there, Yuba City, Sacramento just over half an inch, Stockton over just over half an inch, and Merced just under an inch there. And you can see higher amounts across some of the Sierra Nevada as well. Uh, this is looking Southern California. And this is subject to change as well. And this is probably going to be very variable between where these uh, bands of precipitation set up. And as they move inland here, you can see San Diego right now forecast at about seven tenths of an inch. Los Angeles, 1.2 inches. Oxnard, 1.7 here. And lesser amounts across some of the desert areas. But picking back up again here across some of Nevada, Las Vegas could get a bit of a rainy period here as well. As some as Arizona, as you can see here, Las Vegas, St. George, Cedar City kind of downtrending over the last few days there, but still showing some measurable pre and better amounts across portions of Arizona here. Maybe even Phoenix getting a third of an inch there out of this system as it pivots through. Now looking way off into the extended here. So this is what's known as the European weeklies here. And this runs every single day now, but this goes all the way through mid-December. And you can kind of see the favored uh, below normal heights there at 500 millibars at 18,000 feet. So kind of showing some troughing potential here as we go through mid-December. And what would that mean? Well, it could mean cooler than normal conditions across much of the West. As you look here, you're looking at 46 day temperature anomaly at the surface here. Kind of a, a below average signal here across much of the West, including California, Arizona, and Nevada here. And then looking at the precipitation, 46 day precipitation anomaly. You can clearly see the bullseye here off the coast and over California and kind of a deficit running there across much of the Pacific Northwest as we go through the later portion of December. Take that with a grain of salt, but the signal has been showing up in these extended model runs for some time now. This is something we'll continue to revisit as we go over the the next uh, few weeks coming up as well but not a bad outlook there for storm lovers across california through the extended forecast but anyway yeah storm system is underway here you can clearly see it developing lightning strikes out there we will have thunderstorm potential at times across some of the area here and we'll continue to break this down we'll go over it cut off low as a weatherman's whoa this is a tough forecast you guys as you saw it's a pretty dynamic system here and it's bound to bring some heavier amounts back into the state of california here but who's going to get hit with how much is still kind of in question and it's going to kind of be a now cast forecast situation here where you're looking at the Doppler radar and you're checking out the satellite imagery and checking out where those thunderstorms might develop in the heaviest precipitation. And we'll try to break that down day by day the best we can. So anyway, I hope you guys are liking these videos. Channel's doing great. You guys make this all possible. Um, and we'll do this again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.